Welcome back to Game Development with Pygame. This is part 12 of our platformer development series. And in this video, we will be adding platform graphics. So now we're ready to change our platform to start using some of these graphics. And I'm going to use this uh, dirt and grass one. And I'm going to use both of the sizes. There's a wide one and a narrow one. So that means we're going to have to make some changes to our platform sprite. Um, one of the changes is we are not going to need the width and height to be specified, but we are going to pass a copy of the game um, like we did up here in the class player so that we can reference the sprite sheet. So we're going to say self.game of this game. Okay, and then I'm going to make a list um, of the two uh, images that I want to use. And I'm actually going to, oops, I'm going to paste this in here because I've already gone and looked up. These are the uh, coordinates from the XML file. Um, if you want to use some different ones here or you even want to use more of them, you can put uh, more of them into this list because our image is just going to be a random choice uh, from that list of images, which means we're going to need to go up here and we're going to need to import random so that we can say random dot choice images. Now since we're actually only using choice, another way we could do this, and you'll see this a lot in Python, is we can just say from random import choice. So that since that's the only command we're going to be using, we can just say choice. And then we're not going to fill with green anymore, but we do need to set the color key to black, just like we did with the other sprites. So that will do it for class platform. But now our problem is going to be over here where we uh, in the new where we spawn the platforms. OK, so we know we're going to need to pass a copy of the game. But now we're getting our list of coordinates from our platform list here, which has um, x, y width and height in it. The width and height are going to be um, invalid now because we don't have that many um, options in our sprite. So I'm going to take out these width and heights um, so that we don't have them in there. Okay. Now if we go over here we should see Oh, and I forgot there's one other place where we spawn platforms, and that's if there's any that need to be spawned um, up above the top. So that one, again, we're also going to take out the width and height, and we are going to add in that we want to pass the game. So now I should see this. Yeah, so now we're spawning some new platforms that we can see. So, much nicer. Now, um, now notice how when I'm up here and I jump to a higher platform, uh, the screen isn't always scrolling the way I want it to. Let's see if I can get that to happen. A good example. There we go. See, I was on this platform. And then I snapped up to this one, but the screen isn't scrolling because my velocity right now is zero. If I jump a little bit, it's going to snap down there. So we'd like to make that a little more smooth. So what we can do here is in this section right here where we detect whether we need to scroll the screen, we're moving everything at the player's velocity. But since I snapped up to that platform, my, vel my velocity is zero. So that's why we're not scrolling. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, use the max function, and I'm going to say use either that or the number 2. So whichever number is bigger, the player's velocity or 2, it's going to scroll at. And we can do that here for the moving of the platforms too. And what that's going to do is give us a little Let's get a little snap to happen. 
So you might notice that even when the player snaps up there and the player's not moving anymore, the screen will scroll for us. At a nice little steady pace. And I think that's okay for now. We can definitely improve that, uh, but that can wait. All right, um, a couple of other things you might be noticing. Um, one is we're spawning up here at the top, and I'd like to spawn down here at my first platform, which might be a big one, might be a small one. Um, actually want to move it up a little bit too, because I can't see the bottom of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our settings. We're going to change this first platform um, to move it up just a little bit. Uh, minus 50. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, there, well, maybe slightly more. All right. There we go. Okay, so I'd like the player, I'd like the player to spawn um, on that platform down here. So I just want to change the player sprites uh, spawn location. So in here we're spawning at the center of the screen right now. So we're going to make this. Um, I'm just picking what I think is going to be a reasonable number. Um, we'll see what that looks like when we run it. Oop. What do we do there? Oh, right. I need to do that in the position, not because the position is where we're going to get set to anyway. So there we go. So that way we spawn down here on top of things, and that's okay. Now, another thing you might notice if you're playing around is occasionally the jump doesn't seem to work. Um, you'll press it and a jump won't happen. And the reason that's happening is, um, well, there's a couple of things that have to do with it, but one thing we can do to make that a little more reliable is if we go to our player's jump method here, I'm going to change these numbers to two. So instead of checking the pixel right below us, we're going to check two pixels below us before we jump. And that's going to make it a little more reliable, uh, reliably detect the platform underneath the player's feet. Okay. Now, um, we are still snapping to these platforms quite a lot, um, especially, you might have noticed, also sometimes we're behind the platforms. There's a lot of little things to clean up now that we've changed things. So let's clean up a couple of them and then we'll uh, be done for this video. Um, one thing I want to do is here in my draw section. So I'm actually going to make sure, I want to make sure the player's on top so I'm going to actually blit the player on top of the rest of the sprites. That way the, the player will always be in the front. Okay, so we should never see the player disappear or, or hide behind a platform. Okay. Now we have, we're going to have to decide what to do about some of this um, interaction with the, with the platforms, right? I mean, like this example, if I walk to the right and I snap up to the top of it, that's okay. But some of these situations, like should I snap to the top there or should I not go until I jump? And what about when the platforms are right on top of each other like this? You know, you're going to get, see, sometimes I snap and sometimes I don't. It's a little bit inconsistent. Um, wasn't so much a problem when they were little rectangles because it was hard to tell. But sometimes it looks a little weird. OK. 
Um, and that's okay because we can fix that and we can do some more um, smarter things about our collisions. Uh, but that's going to wait for a later video. We've already gone over a little over 10 minutes, so we're going to stop there for today. And I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the discussion area below. And also, please click like on the video. That actually helps other people find it and get the word out. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.